Royals, what's going on? <sighs> Pleasure. It's been a, um, I don't know if I would call it an action-packed weekend thus far, but uh, yesterday turned out to be very much action-packed. Are y'all going after these, uh, these denim ones? <laughs> denim. Denim. I'm a Dalton today, but I got time. Apparently, you all wanted me to say denim, which it's always been jeans. Always been jeans. I've been saying jeans my entire life. Everybody got a word that just have your brain in a twist, okay? And it's not even a uh, intricate word. It's not even a, uh, a complex word. And that's coming from somebody who's an advanced writing in English, um, proud writing in English student throughout my, uh, my student years. That was never an issue for me, all right? We talking about a scholastic champion, you know, grade school read all the books, all right? in high school advanced all the things you know what i'm saying so that that wasn't now math i'll give you math i'll i'll admittedly be wrong in math because i hate math but writing in words and speaking yeah that's me that's me all day that's me all day so y'all deal with it we're gonna be okay everybody just breathe relax i've been doing youtube for for It'll be uh, eight years. It'll be eight years this summer. I've been doing YouTube, all right? So if every eight years, y'all gotta point out something that I said that sounds a little funny, you know, hey, it, that's, that's, that's what we own. But anyway, I'm about to go in. I, um, I'm about to grab a, a DEXA scan really quickly. I did gain an unpleasant amount of weight last year um i gained the weight because yeah i was just being negligent so i know how to dig out of it i just i get these dexa scans this will be my second one this year a dexa scan by the way is, is a body fat scanning test that you get um just to kind of know where you are in terms of your lean body mass body fat percentage etc etc um but i am making like great strides this year i am more than halfway kind of my my goal is if we want to call it a goal and let me go in here so that they know that i'm here and if they do let me i guess show a little bit of how the process goes i'll do that but um also when i get in there if i have a slight little weight I'll show y'all what I got on feet. But yeah, y'all hit me in the comment section. Let me know what y'all on. Um, not only this weekend, but did y'all grab them Dion's yesterday? Are y'all grabbing the one, the denim ones today? So what what's what's up? Are y'all waiting for some of the other drops this month? Uh, you know, let's let's talk about it. But anyway, let me get in here. Alright, peace. Alright, we're inside. They usually come and get you um when it's your turn. But anyway. So on feet, on feet, we got brand 13s, still looking clean, still looking good. Yeah, so I'm in this little waiting room, this spot is called Live Lean, RX, Chicago. This is a Chicago location, they have multiple locations, but um, it's a quaint little spot. All right, so. All right, let me, um, I guess, wait to get in. And uh, if they let me record, but like I said, getting scanned, I'm just getting the basic DEXA scan. Um, they have multiple other scans I could get as well. But um, that's what we own today. So, all right, I'll get back to y'all in a bit.
All right, Royals. So that was quick. Um, progress is being made, man. This is what it's all about, you know. Um, at the start of the year, whew, it was it was a struggle to come to terms with what I had dug myself into. But um, again, I'm listen. I, I I always know what to do. That's that's a very important component, and I think I got a little too cocky because I know what to do. Where I'm like, eh. I can just, eh, I can just live wild and free, you know, and, and be cool. But I listen. I was so uncomfortable with just everything. I was busting out of my pants. Damn, they're busting out of my shirts. You know, it's bad when your tops start to feel, you know, like you like you need to uh, rethink life. But yeah, we about to go get some donuts. We're going specifically. If I can find a parking spot in front of the store. Um, I'm trying to go to Do-Right Donuts, man. That is arguably one of the best donut shops in Chicago. Alright, so about to go get my donuts. And then I'm going to meet y'all uh, well, possibly in the donut shop. We'll see. We'll see kind of what the what the energy is like. Because it's, it's a hustle and bustle type of area. You know, I got to, got to get in and got to dip in and out. Dip in and out. Got to slash. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so... <laughs> See y'all in a bit. I'm back at the house um, had to make a, a pit stock or two actually I um I only showed y'all the grocery store <laughs> the grocery store <laughs> gotta watch myself now because yeah yeah y'all enjoying picking my words out versus what I'm trying to show y'all trying to expand your horizons you understand but anyway <laughs> Um, gas light came on all of the things so I'm like yeah let me go ahead and take care of that but so where we last stopped where was a highlight was these do right donuts I'm about to show y'all right here baby Ooh. now listen it's only a few locations um, in Chicago of this but where it says Chicago's best donuts hands down thus far we have a ton of donut shops out there I definitely want to explore but out of everything I done had these the ones let me show y'all these selections I got they were in a car a little longer than what I wanted but we still should be good they put the paper on here for the um for the ones that have kind of a little filling on them so they wouldn't mess up Ooh, this one pulling this one pulling ooh, 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 ooh. okay I think I I'm just trying to move that out the way anyway these some heavy hitters right here. One of them I'm trying for the first time. So this strawberry, um, I forget what it's called, like a strawberry ringer or something like that. It's on what they normally have alone. It's like a cinnamon, uh, cinnamon crunch one donut, but they got a little strawberry fill on it. Fire is seasonal. So I still get this one cause it's going to go away soon. This one is the cheese Danish. If there's any Danish fans out there, this is a donut version of a Danish fire. This right here is the first. Um, it's like a raspberry fill. Uh, I forget what they call this as well, but it's, oh, it's a raspberry bullseye. That's what this one is called. Um, Boston cream. I'm a Boston cream fan. I don't know about y'all. Their Boston cream is, is really delicious to me. This is a buttermilk old fashioned fire. And this is another one I'm trying for the first time. It's um, it's called like a French cruller. So um, the cashier recommended this one. She said it's similar to like French toast, but not as bready. So I'm loving this option. So yeah, man, I'm gonna tear these up, but I just wanted y'all to see 
the selection I chose. All right, man. Some of y'all, some of y'all saw my post yesterday. And uh, yeah, man, super excited about these right here. Anytime, anytime I get a shoe, especially one that I really want, I keep that thing right outside the box. And uh, you know, give me an opportunity to just admire finally having a shoe that I've been wanting. Like, I'm so excited about this shoe, man. That bottom is so fire. Nobody will ever see this, obviously, when I'm wearing them, but just certain details like that is so cool. That's not why I buy it for those details. It's the, the silhouette, the, the core design of it is why I buy it, so. I know some folks were down about the back tab, not having the prime um, font on it. Um, yeah, I, I didn't mention it in the early review because I didn't care about it, and that is a special edition shoe for Dion and the folks that he wanted to give that shoe to. So um, the rest of us, we got our little blank back tab, but we got everything else. So <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with that. But yeah, man, some of y'all responded um, with the community post yesterday. So I'm excited for y'all. We know it was a long time coming in terms of, you know what I'm saying? That shock drop that happened. Um, I wanna say that was during Super Bowl weekend, right? So, super disrespectful shock drop. So, being able to get them when the GRs hit, um, or the general release hit. Congratulations to everybody. Turned out it was not easy, um, which is a shame, because a classic like this, I would say as recent as three years ago, this would have been one of them you can walk into the store and grab. Um, not only on release day, but a week later, a month later, if they still got them on the shelf and <laughs> not bagged up and boxed up in the back somewhere. Um, so it's just crazy how a little bit of visibility, a little bit of, you know, media attention back on Prime has caused people to just really get excited about things like this, which we would not have had any issues, none whatsoever, if this shoe had came out just a few short years before. It's it's crazy, it's crazy. I think I just got some donut frosting on my shirt. I'm trying to show y'all I'm wearing for Juneteenth. Y'all got y'all situation, y'all know what event y'all going to, y'all got y'all gear together, y'all, y'all, um, y'all kicks together, this is sideways, so. I grabbed this shit, this tea, um, Big Juneteenth Energy. Yeah, yeah. I actually grabbed this from a site that I have multiple pieces from. It's a black owned site. It's called um, Melanin Apparel. Okay, so Melanin Apparel. They just got a lot of dope stuff over there. So just check them out. Now, I do have some joints. Today is uh, it's chill, but it's busy at the same time. So it's a couple of uh, W games today. Of course, I still got a workout today. And I'm also judging a sneaker battle this evening. So um, if you're not familiar, my family over at Who Has The Heat, Who Has The Heat on YouTube, um, they actually have a sneaker battle that uh, I frequent often. I have some shoes. I'm all over the place right now, I know. What was I talking about? I'm starting to find pairs that I'm about to get rid of. And so, so far, um, this is where I'm at with it. And of course you can see a little dust because that's just how long stuff has been sitting around. Um, these are just a, a normal, regular pair of chucks. Actually my last pair of chucks um, that I have in my collection. I don't wear chucks anymore. So, just the all white. I'm not selling these, by the way. Actually, this pair I'm taking down to the um, to the homeless shelter. So, cause they got like a little stain on them and all of that. So I ain't trying to go through cleaning them to try to sell them for a couple bucks. It's not worth all of that. So we're gonna take them down to the homeless shelter. This next pair here. Um, dusty as well <laughs> so these are Paris tins uh, um, I just I find myself wearing these more 
when I'm doing splits, like when my program at the gym has turned to splits and I'm just mostly lifting more than anything. Um, but I don't wear them in life, right? I wore them to one sneaker con in 2017 and that's probably the only time I wore them in my in actual like life, right? Going somewhere, doing a social thing. <laughs> Other than that, I've only worn them I'm trying to get a little focus on the accolade so you can see just what good condition these are in. Other than that, I just wear them to the gym, which is not often because this is not a gym shoe, right? It's just one of those like, hey, I want to rock something dope. And these were a, uh, this was a European release exclusively. So when these dropped in 2016, this wasn't something you could just go to Foot Locker and get. So um, I have not decided what my route of getting rid of them are yet, but yeah, I think it's time. Just in case <laughs> y'all interested, these are actually a seven and a half, okay? So just so you know, this is a more recent one in the past, probably three years or so that dropped. Um, and these are 13s. I wanna say they call them Midnight Navy. I really only bought these because of the, the navy look, um, not because of that. Some will call it the UNC blue. I'm trying to get that to focus. Ooh, we having a time, ain't we? We having a time. Um, anyway, that doesn't wanna focus, but y'all get the gist. Um, more of that blue on the bottom as well, so. Um, I think because of that UNC blue is a part of why I'm getting rid of them. Um, I just think that I could have a better shoe in place of this one. I think there's a four that's dropping next year. It's like a Midnight Navy SB. Um, and I think those are super fire. So if they're real and it's not just the concept, I think I'm going to go after those um, and have those be one of my sort of navy blue options As you know any opportunity to have a little bit of you know um university blue <laughs> just you know just another uh another uh peak you know i definitely want to have that so i like to have multiple options for that um i did not wear this with michigan gear by the way i ain't crazy like that um but again that's a part of why i getting rid of them because it's not a functional enough colorway for me, okay? And I'm not crazy enough about 13s. I think this was more impulsive because of the blue, um, not because I had to have them, but I pulled the trigger at the time, and yeah. So this pair is a size 8. Let me know if you're interested, except for these. I'm not, these are not up for sale. These are going to the homeless shelter. But yeah. I'm about to um, enjoy my donuts, watch some basketball, do a couple things throughout my day, and then I think I'll show y'all um, a couple of clips with me preparing for the battle this evening, um, as well as kind of the in-betweens of that battle, and then we're going to close this, on, this thing out, but uh, yeah, mission accomplished. <laughs> mission accomplished. <laughs> I might be set for June. I might be set for June because I have this, so to be continued, all right? <laughs> all right, Rams, I am back. Um, so my setup here, um, I actually, it's, it's a dual purpose now because I work from home more often than what I did before. So this is actually my workstation during the week um, and no longer solely just like a content or a creative space so to speak so um i actually i need to now um hook my macbook up over here so that my mic and everything um is all connected and i need to swap that out with what is my work computer so that's pretty much what i'm doing to prepare for judging the sneaker battle and it starts in 15 minutes, so I gotta go ahead and get to it. All right, this battle is gonna be kind of long because we got, it's a double header, okay? So, meaning it's two battles back to back. I think it's seven rounds per, per uh, battle, so 
if it's not a sweep, it can it can last for a little bit. Typically, the battles are pretty even, so it's not like one person dominating per se. Because obviously that'll be a quicker a quicker battle, but um. It's been very rare, if ever, that anybody has just came through and swept the place. So, um, but yeah, so at this point, I'm ready to put my lights up and on. This allows me to look like I'm alive and it makes my backdrop and everything look alive. I am ready and hooked up here. And um, I try to get y'all a couple of uh, in the middle of the battle type, type, uh, type clips, <laughs> and then uh, yeah, let's do it. What up? What up? Oh, hold on! I gotta get my I gotta get my audio right. How you coming up on here late talking about something when we start? All right, fellas. So we are six months into the year. You have either cleaned up thus far or you have not however show me a shoe that is your top pickup of the year thus far 